Hello YouTube, um, this is Wolfgang again. Uh, in this video I want to talk about getting good jazz sound. Because I saw so many videos on YouTube where people talking crap and um, I think I, I can add to this and help you to get uh, a typical traditional jazz sound. And in this video I talk a little bit what I do to achieve this. Um, okay, let's get started. First thing um, with the guitar, sure it's easier with an arch top, but uh, later on I will, I will uh, play on a solid body and we'll demonstrate it on the solid body because it works too, but it's much easier with an arch top because the guitar is more percussive and, and that makes it easier. Um, <clears throat> also, you have a much better mid-range and that helps you to cut through in a band with this just clear sound with no distortion or anything. So, first thing, the main pickup for this type of sound is the front pickup. Very, very rare. I, I hear a guitar player using the, the treble pickup for this. Normally this is for, for if you play traditional rock and roll or rockabilly, uh, then this will work. But if you want a jazz sound, use the front pickup. The next thing is, don't put the pickup too close to the strings, like the rock players doing this. You know, the rock guitar players uh, put the pickup right under the string because they need a lot of output to get more distortion. But for a jazz sound, uh, it's better to lower the pickup a little bit. About, how much is this? 3 sixteenths of an inch, 2 sixteenths of an inch, 4 millimeters. Um, you have to try this, you know, um, so you will see when you lower the pickup, the sound will be a little bit more airy, not so boomy, and this can help. The next thing, strings. If you really go for this traditional jazz sound, use flat wound strings. Um, this guitar has uh, 12 uh, flat wounds on it, and... If you want this old sound, this works perfect. So, I think these are the most important things on the guitar. Uh, what you can do with your right hand is use a heavy pick and don't pick too hard, you know. Um, uh, next thing uh, with the amp, uh, I'm using now my PV Delta Blues, which has a 15 inch speaker. This can help when you have a guitar that has a lot of bass, like this old Super 400. By the way, it's a 68. Um, but um, I will do a, a second example with my Polytone uh, Mini Brute 2, so you can hear both of them. Okay, so as I said, not too high the pickup, flat wound strings, heavy pick, and with the amp, a bigger speaker helps. Um, <clears throat> from the setting, it's mostly linear, you know, and maybe I lower the treble a little bit. This is a matter of choice. So the last thing, and this is very important, I think, uh, with your volume and your tone pot on the guitar, I recommend don't turn on the volume 100% and then turn down the, the tone knob. So it's better, I think it's better, uh, when you lower the tone pot to about 8 or 9 and then maybe turn down the tone knob as needed. So first example, I put everything on 10 and you will hear this is a little bit bright. So, next step, I lower the volume pot just a little. And you will hear it's immediately softer because you have this treble loss and this helps you. Turn down the tone knob, but not more than half, 
Maybe this is about seven. Okay, so this would be right for me. Uh, so, okay, next amp, this is a Polytone uh, Mini Brute 2 with a 12 inch, 12 inch speaker. And the first uh, example is I put the volume and the tone knob again on 10. much easier with an arch top but you also can do it with a, with a solid body and even with a telecaster you can play jazz and, and there are a lot of players who are doing this uh, so uh, let's see how this sounds so next guitar uh, this is a telecaster by Schechter uh, I changed the pickups to Seymour Duncan's and um, that's pretty old I, I did with this guitar uh, first example is um, everything's on 10 front pickup <laughs> So this is the polytone, I start again with both on 10, front pickup. Uh. 
Okay, you sort of get the idea. Um, <clears throat> so, as you see, even with a regular solid body guitar, it's possible to get a good uh, jazz sound if you set up the guitar right. By the way, these are normally the, the Dario 10s, so not even fat, fat strings and not even flat ones. So, uh, the last example I, I, will, I will play on my, on my Telecaster with single coil pickups and, and let's see how this sounds. So, uh, last example, this is my uh, 2012 uh, Fender Telecaster, uh, it's this Select series. Um, this guitar, uh, when, I turn on the, when I, I turn on the tone knob on 10, um, uh, the tone knob is out of the uh, circuit, just uh, to give you this information. First example is again with the PV Delta Blues and with uh, both knobs on 10, front pickup. So now I lower the volume a little. jazz with a sound like this and I like it I like to play jazz on the Telecaster so uh, next example is the polytone okay this is the polytone and I start again with both knobs on 10 <laughs> some information how to get the jazz sound and I think um, the most important thing is don't turn the guitar on 10 the volume knob on 10 play on the front pickup don't put your pickup too high maybe turn down the tone knob a little as you like and um, use a thick pick don't play with thin picks <coughs> and the last thing the louder you play, the more you maybe have to lower the bass knob on your amp. Because um, when you turn this kind of sound in volume up, it will become a little bassy, so you have to lower the bass. Um, okay, so I hope this helped, and uh, I hope this give, gave you some information uh, how to get a better jazz sound out of your guitar in the end if you really want to go to this mainstream stuff you need an arch top um, so okay I, I hope this helped and I hope you can use this information uh, stay tuned uh, I hope uh, 
I will do my next video in the next two weeks or maybe three weeks. It will not be that long as as the, as this one took because now we're holidays and, and as you can imagine, uh, I took the time to relax. So I hope you understand this. So see you soon. Bye bye.